What about acquiring demand? And the, the, the core differences in demand that you were finding or, or, or those sources of surprising demand that you found both at, at eBay versus Airbnb? Yeah, look, I think that um, the increasing role that um, um, the earned media plays in the development of a brand and the role that social, I mean, one misstep by a brand um, can um, spread white wild, can spread like wildfire right across the internet. And so I think that the, the risks um, that can face a company uh, by getting it wrong, I think are heightened. Um, and I think um, the sensitivity to that, uh, and I think Airbnb has come along uh, a little later, obviously, in time than um, than when Airbnb was sorry than when eBay was started. Uh, but I think that the role that earned media plays in driving demand and becoming part of the popular culture conversation, I think, is a, a key um, um, a key area that. Um, has really helped um, um, uh, drive demand, the network effects that come with that, again, the two-sided marketplace, um, and people having great experiences and being willing to share them, um, I think is uh, a significant part of it. I think also, um, I talked about before those elements and pillars of um, a successful 21st century company, and, um, the the authenticity of that story that's told so when you refer to say narrative based um organizations what they do needs to stand behind um what they say they are and i think an example of that and if i if i take airbnb and and there are there are some others that aren't um specifically coming to mind at the moment but if we think about airbnb and their um, their mission and their vision of a world where people can belong anywhere. Their story that they told in one of their first global brand campaigns, um, which was sort of titled Never a Stranger, and it told, it told the story of a, a 30-something professional female travelling the world, staying in other people's homes, and it, it right out of the gate, it addressed the uncomfortable truth of staying in someone else's home. And, and I think by doing that and having um, an authentic story to tell and telling that through your marketing, I think is, a, um, is certainly something that has set Airbnb apart. In terms of this, uh, you know, earned media and organic growth, you know, what was the source of growth or what was the essence of driving that organic unpaid media yeah. growth for yeah. both companies? Yeah, so I think... Um, one of the, um, whether it relates to eBay or Airbnb, I think Airbnb might be a little um, um, easier to tell those stories, but it comes back down to telling the stories of hosts and guests um, in an authentic way um, that also becomes part of the popular culture conversation. One of the things and one of the ways that um, Airbnb has done uh, to achieve that would be they've developed within the business franchises that help personify what um, staying on Airbnb is like. So, for example, they have the Night At franchise. And so you could stay at the Louvre. Um, now, not everyone is going to have the opportunity to go and stay at the Louvre, but that um, is an analogy that, well, if you could stay in the Louvre, you could just about stay anywhere else on Airbnb, so you could stay in a department store overnight. And what kid hasn't sort of dreamt of maybe spending the night in a department store and having a chance to uh, to run wild or, um, you know, stay in a, a, um, a significant sporting field or be part of an experience that you wouldn't otherwise have the chance to um, participate in. And so I think it's, if you could do that, um, imagine... The, mm. Sorry, Siri, picking up on the, <laughs> on the conversation. The um, um, imagine what else you could yeah. imagine, imagine what else you could do. 